pattern I said Red Heart Super Saver, but you can also use the 8 ounce, 8 ounce Red Heart, the smaller one, and still be able to make the hat no problem with a little bit extra to spare. You can also do it in two sports yarn together. And it'll still end up same size but a little bit thicker. So row one, chain three. Slip stitch back into your first stitch. I always chain one. Some people chain two. But I chain one to eliminate the gap when you come back around. And 12 double crochet. I just pull my tail tight, eliminate the hole in the middle, and I put my 12th double crochet in that chain one, like I said, to eliminate that gap when you're working in the round. So on this first one, we're going to put two double crochet for our row two. This is where you're going to want to put in your stitch marker on that first one. I use my tail as a stitch marker. So two double crochet in each stitch around. Coming around to the stitch marker for row three. You're going to do one double crochet on the first, which is where you're going to want to put your stitch marker. And 
and two double crochet in the next. So continuing that all the way around, one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochet in the next. We'll continue and work all the way around and meet you back here. So one in the first one, two in the next, and I'll meet you by the stitch marker. So doing one in the first and then two double crochet in the next, you should end with two double crochet. There's your pin marker for your row four. So now you're going to repeat from before, but doing two double crochet in the first two stitches and two double crochet in the next. That's your first, second double crochet, and two in the next. So we'll repeat once more. One double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the second stitch, and two double crochet in the next. And repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you at the marker. So here we are. So you should have One double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next. And when you come up to your stitch marker, you should always have two double crochet in the last one. So coming up to row five. We're going to have three double crochet in the first three stitches and two double crochet in the next. So marking the first one with a stitch marker. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. And two in the next. So three single double crochet and then two in the next one. So repeat it once more. One, two double crochet, three double crochet, and two in the next. And we'll go all the way around and I'll meet you at the stitch marker. So here we are back. So you should have 
three single double crochet in each stitch and then two double crochet in the next. When you get to the stitch marker you should always be ending on two double crochet. So this would be your last row of increases. Now row 6 to row 14 is going to be just double crochet all the way around for your hat. And that would be 9 rows of 1 double crochet in each stitch. So instead of you sitting here watching me for 9 rows straight of double crochet, put my marker there. We go one, two, and then we'll skip a few. And row nine, I'll be back. That's where many people like to use those stitch markers with numbers on them, or use a counter, or use safety pins. So whatever you prefer. So I'll meet you back here after nine rows at the stitch marker. Ta-da. So you should have nine rows from your last stitch marker. This would be row 15. And I've already double crocheted 20 of row 15. So you might want to pause here and double crochet 20. <laughs> now you'll be working a front double crochet two in each stitch. And you will be doing eight of these. So instead of in the loop, you'll be working actually through the stitch. And you'll be working two. This is where the eyebrow starts. Makes it a little bit thicker and bigger and pronounced so you can see it. So second front double crochet. Doing two in each. Third front double crochet. Doing two front doubles in each loop. Fourth. Fifth front double crochet. Here's the sixth front double crochet. Doing two in each. And seven. And here's eight. Now to mark the middle, you're going to do one regular double crochet in your normal loop. This will mark where your nose is going to be and it'll make it a little bit easier on the next round. So it marks the middle of the eyebrows, kind of brings it down a little bit. 
and helps it separate so you can tell what from what. So continuing eight front double crochet, two in each. So second front double crochet. Third front double crochet with two in each. Fifth front double. And eighth front double with two on each. You see how the middle one will separate the eyebrows. So working a double crochet in each all the way around and come all the way back to the front double crochet or the beginning of the eyebrows other side and I'll meet you back here. So the eyebrows will be your stitch marker. Come all the way back to the other side. So here we are back. This would be row 16. You want to come all the way up as close as you can to that front double. So you don't have a gap. Now you're going to chain six for your first die. And then searching for that one regular double crochet in the middle, you'll be able to feel it. If you flip it, you'll be able to see it as well be raised. And you'll be working in that back row before it in that stitch. You're going to toggle two triple crochet together in the same stitch. So you'll yarn over twice, go through, that first stitch, do not complete, yarn over twice for a triple crochet, go through that first stitch next to your double crochet, and now you're going to pull them all the way through to toggle them together so it's a little bit thicker where the nose starts. <coughs> Now on the middle double crochet, which would be the eighth one over, you will triple crochet three. Actually on the double crochet, how you did the front double, but you're actually working on the back. So after you have three triple crochet in the middle, working on that back stitch right next to the double crochet, you want to toggle two triple crochet together in the same stitch. So I pull through the first two, leave two on, toggle 
yarn over twice, pull through twice, and then pull through all three. And then chain six for your next die. Now you're going to find your way over from the end of the front double and working as close as you can on that first one where the front double ends. Work a double crochet. And you'll work a double crochet all the way around and you'll work two rows of it. I'll come back right before the eyes and make you grit your teeth while you watch me try to pull through a chain. <laughs> but here's your eyes, your eyebrows, your nose. So now you're just kind of making the mask part with the two rows of double crochet after. So this would be row 17 we're on and 18 because you're going to have two rows of double crochet. And then your chain stitch you're just going to Chain six all the way across. Oh, it's never easy for me. <laughs> I don't think working on a chain is easy for anyone. So like I said, you'll work, this would be row 17 in the next one. So you'll work two rows of double crochet underneath your eyes to make more of a mask before you get to your tentacles. So I'll meet you in the back of the hat after your two rows. 
Yep, so you have one more underneath this one. And I'll meet you in the back of the hat to show you how to make your spiral tentacles. How do you find the back of your hat? Fold it. It doesn't have to be perfect where you are. You have to go all the way around either way. So here we are back. Row 19 and on and on and on. Spirals are so much fun. So when I work in the round, I will end in a half double crochet and then a single crochet and then a slip stitch to ease that incline, decline. So it's less noticeable. So you will chain 20 to 29, your choice. I like to make them all different sizes so the tentacles are different. So going back on your chain, you will double crochet a few in every other stitch. So one in each stitch, one in each stitch, one in each stitch, and then the next ones, you will double crochet three in one stitch, and then double crochet three in the next stitch, which will create a spiral. I alternate this wherever the heck I want to in any old pattern, nothing specific, just so they all end up different. So I'll throw in a few single crochets, and I'll throw in three double crochets in two of the next stitches. Then I'll create the spiral. So we'll continue the spiral tentacle and I'll meet you back where you connect it to the hat. And so you can continue around. So here's the tentacle done. So I do a double crochet, except I slip stitch it on as I go. So I'll yarn over once and pull through, but you're gonna grab a loop from the hat, pull another one through, and pull through your first two. Then grab another loop from your hat, pull through, all of them. That eliminates the gap in between. If I would have just put a double crochet and then put a slip stitch. So once more, yarn over like a normal double crochet going into your last one on the chain, pull through, go into the first loop of the hat, yarn over, pull through the first two, pull through the next loop of the hat, yarn over, and pull through the last. Then you will slip stitch into your next and start chaining and continue all the way around with these. Fun, fun. Yeah.
and here it is complete. And yes, it's hilarious the looks and laughs you get wearing this outside. Please don't wear it into a bank. And that's the reason I did it in tan, so you guys could actually see what I was doing. And there you are. Put your sunglasses underneath and enjoy. Happy crochet.